Hi, my name is Morgan Doremus, and I'm with RT Book Reviews, and I'm here today with YA author Lucy Christopher. Welcome to America. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I do, do you want to tell everyone where, where you hail from, a little sure. bit about your, your background? Sure. Well, I, I was born in Wales, but uh, I grew up in Australia, and then I went back to Wales about six years ago. So I live in Cardiff, the capital of Wales at the moment. So coming to New York is a first for me, and it's very, very exciting. <laughs> well, you're, you're very welcome. Um, and the reason, the reason you're in here today is because I just got done reading your first book, Stolen. And um, can I, don't take this the wrong way, but you're a terrifying person. <laughs> Seriously, it was, it was such a scary, not a scary like, like, you know, somebody's going to jump out and attack you, but scary in the fact that we see kind of, um, there, there is an abduction in the book, mm. and we really get to see kind of an inside look at being kidnapped that just makes you want to just jump out of your skin. <laughs> how, did you, how did you come about, um, you know, crafting the novel and deciding that kidnapping was going to be the main theme? Well, that really took me by surprise as well, because I, anyone who knows me knows I'm a real wuss with horror films. I hate watching anything scary. So it really surprised me that I wrote a book about a kidnap as well. Um, I really, really, really wanted to write a book about the desert. I've always wanted to write about the outback because I love it, but I'm also scared of it. Um, and I thought that was quite an interesting thing to explore, a place that I loved, but I also was terrified of. And so as I was trying to think, how am I going to write a book about a, such an extreme subject, I thought, uh, extreme place, I mean, extreme subject as well. And I thought, well, kidnapping, perhaps. It's quite extreme. <laughs> but yes. it couldn't be a, a kidnapping where it was clear what was right and what was wrong. I think it had to be a bit of a blurred one, as, as my feelings with the desert is also blurred. It's not clear that I love it or clear that I hate it. So I was echoing that, really. <laughs> and um, I was also very terrified by the desert. I was thinking in about the middle of the book when, when she really starts exploring the outback and, and she kind of gets, she gets lost. You know, I mean, there's just all of these things where there's, there's these animals that are really dangerous and just the place itself because it's so hot and, and unwelcoming. Mm -hmm. And when she starts to explore, I remember thinking right in the middle of it, this is my worst nightmare. If somebody dropped me in the middle of the outback, like I don't know if I could possibly even survive a day there. And she does, and, and, she's, and she's kidnapped for, for quite a while and lives there quite mm -hmm. a while. Um, and you said that the, the kidnapping is blurred. There's no, there's no right, there's no real right or wrong. There's, there's not, we're not looking at a kidnapper that's, mm -hmm. that's per se evil. I think he might be mentally disturbed, I guess would be the best way to put it. But he really feels by, by taking Gemma, he's doing the right thing, mm -hmm. which is again, quite terrifying. Yeah, definitely. I, and, um, I think that's also quite interesting to explore because I wanted to make the readers think about what's right, what's wrong, what are the boundaries, what is love, what are the boundaries with love, what is the boundaries with relationships, how do you know when one's right and when's, one's wrong. So I wanted a, the reader to be thinking about that the whole time as well. I didn't want to make it clear cut. And I think one thing that we find out really early in the book is this wasn't necessarily a random thing. It wasn't like he, you know, the, mm. the kidnapper walked by her one day and decided, oh, this is it. This is, this is something that, that, is, that has been her whole, like her whole life changes by knowing that he has been around for a while and this has yeah. been something that he's, he's been planning. And he does it so well that, mm. that it's really kind of a hopeless situation. And I think she feels that. And we can feel that as the reader for her, this, this, this hopelessness of never being able, I mean, she's very young, she's, she's you know, in her teens, mm -hmm. and she has this feeling of never being able to see home again, never being able to see her parents again. Yeah, definitely, and I think that's important to remember as well, because quite a lot of the readers fall in love with Ty, and I think that's okay to a certain degree, but I think at the other end of the spectrum, it's also important to remember that, hang on, he has been stalking her for a long time and he has kidnapped her. So he's not an altogether good person at all. So I think it's very important to see him in balance and, and weigh him up, to not completely fall in love with him, but also not to completely hate him either. 